Hi there. Today's fact is that grasshoppers have ears on their bellies, which is absolutely true. Now, I didn't have a big enough grasshopper, but I did bring a Katie did who was very closely related. Now, if you look at the body of a grasshopper right behind their hind legs on their body, which is, this is considered their belly, it's their abdomen. On the first segment, there is a membrane called a tympanum. Now that is the same membrane that we have on our eardrums and they work very similar. The sound waves create a vibration which are then amplified and sent through nerves throughout their body. And that gives some sort of response, whether that is a noise that they like hearing. So maybe if it's a girl and a boy is making a beautiful noise nearby, she might wanna go check it out. Or it could be a danger noise, like hearing a predator walk up behind you, creating you to kind of fly away. So those are very important. Now, grasshoppers make noises as well. And they don't do that by like what you see on the cartoons. What they actually do is they rub their hind leg against their wing. Now this is a katydid, which is more closely related to a grasshopper. So they actually do it with their front pair of wings. They rub those together and it makes a really loud noise. Another cool thing about katydids is their ears aren't on their belly, but they're actually on their knees. So if you look right here, there's a little slit that is the same type of membrane. It's called a tympanum and it works the exact same way. It's just in a different location.